Let's talk about something else that's bedeviling the country right now as we speak. The death toll from flood-related incidents has reached 118 countrywide with a total of 350,000 people having been displaced. The effects of the heavy rains are most devastating in West Pokot, where authorities have placed the deaths at 43, a figure that the county government of West Pokot is contesting, insisting that more than 50 people died in last week's landslides. The devastation in West Pokot County is heart-wrenching. In a span of a week, more than 40 people lost their lives when landslides caused by incessant rains and the subsequent flooding struck. An additional seven people are still missing, even as search for missing persons goes on. <laughs> What we are lacking is the speed and 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 the and the, and the, the sheer number of size of attention that we saw when a vehicle entered the Indian Ocean. And we need that kind of attention. The national government places the figure of deaths at 43 people as a result of the heavy rain and subsequent landslides that have hit the county severely. However, the county government has disputed this figure, insisting that the number of fatalities is higher. We don't know when it will hit you next, or who it will be. So we need that kind of attention. Naomba mchukue, ni idadi ya watu arubaine na watatu. Manake, ndiyo majina ambazo tuko nazo kama serikali. Despite the differences in the figures from the two levels of government, the pain and suffering the rains have caused, especially in Tamkal, Parua and Nyarkulian villages, is visible. A majority of the fatalities established to be young people between age 7 and 20 years. An estimated 1,500 houses were swept away by floods or covered by landslides, with the possessions lying in the sludge amid ongoing heavy rains. <laughs> Government spokesman Cyrus Oguna placed the death toll countrywide from the floods at 118. He says more than a billion shillings is required to resettle and support thousands of households displaced. Alpha Slagat, Citizen TV. All right, and on that note, let's take a quick break here on Daybreak. When we come back, I'll run you through a few more stories making headlines and cross over to some of our correspondents in different places just to give you an update of what's happening around you. Stay with Daybreak.